you should now have both your old drive and your new Crucial SSD installed so you can copy your OS and files to your new Crucial SSD. We call this part in the process copy, though it's technically referred to as cloning. This process copies your operating system, files, and settings from your old drive to your new drive. Now it's time to download the software that copies your old storage drive to your new SSD. Go to the website shown on the screen to download it. Install this software by opening the file you just downloaded and accepting all the prompts. A screen will pop up where you'll need to click Install. When the installation is complete, start Acronis. You'll now see several options in the software. Select the Clone Disk option. You'll then be asked to select a clone mode. If you've never done this before, we recommend the automatic method. Then click the Next button. Acronis will now ask you to select your source drive, which is your existing drive. Select it by clicking on it, then click Next. Now select your destination disk, your new SSD. Generally, it will say Not Initialized on your new SSD. Then click Next. On the following screen, click Proceed to start copying your data. It'll take a while for everything to copy, but the Acronis software will keep you updated on the progress. The software might make your computer shut down or restart, which is okay. When everything has copied over, you'll need to tell your operating system to use your new SSD as the boot drive. This can be done by removing the old drive, which will force your system to use the new drive. Or you can enter your system BIOS and set the primary drive. This next part is the fun part. Watch how fast your computer boots up. Now try clicking on some of your favorite apps to see how fast they load. This is the power of your new SSD, but you're not done yet. With the drive physically installed, you can download a feature that can improve the performance of your drive. Watch the next video in this series to see how to do it.